Once again, we want to thank you for being with us today. Every time you come to our channel, you help us maintain the channel. And if you support us, we have a reason to continue recording. If you are on our channel for the first time today, please press subscribe. Because if you don't subscribe to the channel already, you will miss the next video. If you want to see everything we do in the salon, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. All you need to type is Grooming Studio Lini. And now let's dive into this video and see how we dealt with this aggressive dog. We knew about this dog even before his arrival that he was aggressive and that it would be difficult with him. We believed in us and tried to cut him without a muzzle. And for a short time he was good, but that state of goodness was short-lived. He showed his teeth very quickly. Why does this happen that dogs are aggressive? Stay in the video, and we will explain that a little later. And now we want to explain the cutting process. When a dog comes in this condition, when there are welts all over the body, and on top of all that, he is aggressive and doesn't want to cooperate, we have no other choice but to cut the hair completely short. In this case, as in most such cases, we use a number 10 knife. It cuts the hair at 1.5 millimeters. It's very short, but that's the only way we don't torture the dog. We don't have to comment. The dog does not suffer at all in this way. And our only goal is to make all this go as smoothly as possible for the dog. They have suffered enough just by being put in this state. Can you imagine how much a dog's whole body hurts when it is in this state? And now, when we wanted to do some hairstyles, 
we would have to come out all those tangles. And that would be very scary for a dog in this condition. That's one side of why we don't do it. And the other side is that the dog whose owner allowed it to get into this state, he still won't take care of the dog. That same dog will be the same again in a while. And then it's better to cut it as short as possible, so that it stays as long as possible with short hair that cannot get tangled.
Unfortunately, in our country, there is no law that protects such dogs. As a groomer, I have no right to take away a dog, even though I see it suffering. I have no right to take him away from such people who allowed this. I have no right to save this dog. I decided to help these suffering souls by doing all this for free, because the owners of such dogs will certainly not pay for haircuts. And what I do after every dog is groomed is to educate the owner. My mission is to try to explain to the owners that the whole body of a dog in such a condition hurts. That the dog they say they love is suffering tremendous pain. That they are not doing that dog any good. I try to show them how happy the dog is when he is groomed, when nothing hurts him. What gives me the strength to continue this mission is that some owners do get it. Some still hear what I am telling them. Some decide to change something. You can't even imagine how happy I am when he gets pictures showing me that that dog now lives differently, better. How lucky I am when that dog comes to my salon after two or three months, and I see that he is groomed, that someone has taken care of him. That's my mission, and that's the only way I see my job as a groomer. So that I don't owe you an answer, why do some dogs behave aggressively during grooming? They are basically not aggressive, and they are good dogs. But they are simply not used to grooming, they are not used to bathing or brushing. They come cheerful, they have love in them. Despite all the suffering that people have caused them, they still love, they still love. But simply when we turn on the hair dryer or hair dryer, they see it as a danger. And they start biting because they don't even know what it is. All these things are noisy and not pleasant for them. When dogs come from a young age, they gradually get used to all these sounds. And when they grow up, they have no problems coming to the groomer. So even when dogs behave like this, I don't blame the dog. I only blame the people because they put him in that state.
this little guy is now clean and tidy, and will he stay that way? We don't know, but we sincerely believe that they will. We sincerely believe that people will accept a second chance, and that they will maintain it now. In what way would you try to explain to the owner that he must take care of the dog? Write to us in the comments. If you liked this video, watch our other videos. And we'll see you again in the next video. And you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video about a pecking jays who is also in a very bad condition.